Hi, I'm Rick Dior. And just playing around there with my flat rides. So that's what this lesson will be on today, flat rides. Uh, these are some of my favorite flat rides that I own. This is a Peisty Traditional to my right, your left. This is a Peisty 602 from the 1970s, a very thin flat ride. And this is my newest flat ride, or small bell symbol, I should say. It's a Dream Symbols Dark Matter uh, flat earth ride. They call, call this the Flat Earth Ride. Uh, it does have a tiny little bell, but it's pretty funky. It sounds kind of like a China symbol. So the goal today is to show you uh, several different uh, types of flat, flat rides and how to use them, the best gigs they're used for, and different effects you can get with them. The first flat ride I ever owned was this symbol. It's a Peisty 602. And I bought this used or actually traded it with, with someone. And it says thin on there. It's a really nice symbol. I did put the rivets in. I like to put rivets in most of my flat rides. It just helps the ring last longer. They generally do not ring very long. And normally I'm using them for quieter gigs. I was playing pretty loud there, but uh, I'll use them for quiet piano trio, guitar trio, maybe Brazilian gigs. and. So I want uh, that ring to go on for a little while. So I put the rivets in there. And there's eight rivets in a 20-inch cymbal. That's what I normally do. And both of these have the same amount of rivets. And in fact, they use the same template that I, that I have when I put rivets in. Now, as you know, flat rides have no bell, which uh, explains the dry sound, because most of the ring from a cymbal comes from the thickness of the cymbal and the size of the bell. With no bell, the cymbal sounds pretty dry. So that's uh, the Peisty 602, and that's a very high-pitched cymbal, uh, not hammered, hand-hammered, or anything. It's from that alloy they use for all that 602 series, which all those cymbals are great. Now, you can find these used from time to time. They haven't been made in, in several decades. I think there's a new version of the 602, but I have not checked that out, so can't say anything about it. This is, uh, like I said, a traditional, Peisty traditional symbol. This is somewhat hammered, and it's a bit darker. So this is a great combination of a little bit of darkness, but also lots of articulation. It also rings a little longer than the uh, Peisty 602. Finally, this dark matter symbol is very trashy. So I'll play you that. So I really love that sound. Now, I wouldn't use it for a main ride symbol, but just for an effect symbol or something to your right, I would definitely do that. And I'm probably going to get a 22 uh, version of, of this. This is a 20, and put rivets in that uh, just to have a little bit different sound. So all these three symbols have different characteristics. The 602 would be driest and brightest. The Pisces traditional would be a little bit darker because it's hammered and not as bright. And the dark matter, since it's very hammered, very thin, uh, pretty much unlathed, and has a small bell, would, would, is the trashiest of them. If I had to pick one for a gig, I'd pick this tr Peisty traditional symbol. I think that it has the best quality of all of these. I do have some other flat rods. I have some smaller Peisty 602s, a 16 and an 18. I also have some Sabians. I have a crystal rod. And those are very good as well. Uh, right now, they're up at the college because we're locked out because of the pandemic. So maybe I'll do another video on those. I think I have six or seven total. So these symbols sound really wonderful when you play them together. I remember seeing Pat Metheny's group back in the 80s and then again through the 90s. I first saw them with Danny Gottlieb, and then I saw them with Pearl Wartico. And those guys would literally ride on two of these symbols like this.
it's kind of that ECM sound. And I know when I was growing up, I listened to a lot of deep Jack D. Jeanette uh, on ECM. That's a record label, by the way, Manfred Eicher, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, did amazing quality recordings. Uh, another favorite was Jan Christensen with uh, Keith Jarrett, that European uh, quartet. I love them. And he would use a lot of these drier cymbals, small bell, flat rides. So I kind of fell in love with that sound. Another guy that uses small bell rides is Roy Haynes. Uh, I don't know what he's using now, but I've seen him use those as well. So those are drummers you might want to listen to for that really dry kind of tight sound. It's a beautiful sound. Now, you can also close mic flat rides uh, better than other cymbals. Here, I'm just using my one mic like I always use, a stereo mic. But you can get a, a microphone right on there, and it sounds amazing. So th that, sometimes that's the sound you're hearing on those ECM recordings. Very close mic'd. All right, lots of detail. Now, another effect you can get on these cymbals is a harmonic. So that's really effective, and, and it's again, it's a drier sound. So I use that quite often as an effect, all right? Now, this, these Pisces cymbals do not have any ridges, really. They're lathe, but they don't have ridges. So it's not great for scraping, you scraping a brush on there. I can show you. I have some brushes here. Uh, if you're going to scrape, I would pick the... Um, the Pisces, so you'll hear the difference. Versus, there's not much there. Let's try this one. Not much there either. So a laid symbol will give you that effect, okay? And with brushes, let's see here. So great for color, beautiful for ballads. Flat ride is a really nice ballad symbol just to hit it and let it ring. Okay, so you can't beat it for that. Now, let's play you some different grooves using the flat ride, okay? Generally, they sound really good when you play them fast because there's not time to let them die out, which they want to do very quickly. So any kind of fast groove. So if you're playing some Brazilian music, it might sound like this. you saw there, really fast, Bayonne, Samba, works great for that. It also works great for slower stuff, like ECM style stuff, so. And of course, for fast jazz, nothing beats it. Okay, 
as well as playing in 3-4. Sounds great. Now you can definitely lay into these cymbals, don't be afraid. You can bash them pretty good. Uh, this one especially sounds great when you crash it. So you can do that. You can also get a drier sound if you go where the bell would be. So So uh, you use the shaft of the stick for that. And it also, they also sound great for any kind of 6-8 Latin groove, so, you know. very versatile symbol. You can lay into it hard and it never really gets loud. All right? These also sound good with rods, mallets, anything. So it's something you definitely want to have in your cymbal arsenal, a good flat ride. And again, the one I recommend is this Peisty Traditional. I have several flat rides, as I said already. This one is the one I use mostly for gigging. If you could find an old 602, it's also a beautiful symbol. Not great for everything because it's a little bit bright at times. But make sure you get a thin one. You'll know it's thin if you can bend it, okay? And then finally, I like these uh, newer kind of effects flat rides, like this Dark Matter. Uh, Bosphorus makes some as well that are pretty funky. Uh, they're great. So I'll play a little for you, and uh, we'll see you next time.